Connections didn't waste any time in taking control and stroked the ball around nicely until Andre Tuse picked out Suriname's forward Dimitri Afai to convert in the 23rd for a one to nothing lead. It was Tuse again who threaded the needle and sent Neil Benjamin on his way for 2 to nothing in the 37th. And this cynical tackle by defender Anson Wells earned him the wrath of the referee and a straight red for an early shower. And just before the break, Benjamin had a brace when he bought some time and space in the area and then chipped the advancing Goodman to make it 3 to nothing in the 43rd. It was more of the same in the second half when Kurt Fredericks' brilliant through ball out of the back springs the speedy Benjamin who rounds the keeper and sluts home for his personal hat-trick as connection surged ahead 4 to nothing now in the 54th. They would add three more before the end with two Sir among the scorers as they climbed to seven points and joined third with St. Anne's Rangers and heading in the right direction after the disappointment of the Champions League campaign. And in a much keener contest, Central FC faced Mova Caledonia, trying to also shake off their CONCACAF blues and needed Jean Michael Williams to be at his best after just seven minutes. At the other end, fellow national custodian Marvin Phillips also needed to be alert to avoid danger as Marvin Joseph was veering down on goal. Still, Central kept probing for that opening goal and Joseph was again denied, this time by the legs of a Ghanaian defender, Maestro Mensah. But from the resultant corner, the defense fell asleep and Jason Mercano punished them for one to nothing Central in the 27th. Ten minutes later, Central tapped on a second when Andre Etienne's lovely diagonal ball out of the back is handled well by Joseph and then Karen Cummings who returns it to Joseph to blast past Phillips for two to nothing now Sharks. But instead of the floodgates opening up for Central, they found themselves on the back foot as Caledonia responded. That enterprise would eventually pay off when Jamil Neptune's cross was not dealt with effectively and Denzel Chirabord was on spot with the finish for 2-1. And just before the half they almost came all the way back when this wicked free kick needed Jam's brilliance to keep them out and preserve a 2-1 final score to the Sharks. Ruskin Marks, he's